Hello, this is Ashwini and welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be covering very, very important question, which we're going to ask you in a microservice interview question, definitely. Okay. So, uh, let me make you understand the question, then we will come to the conclusion part. Uh, I mean, solution part. Okay. So, in uh, which business scenarios uh, you can use or to use a Netflix district? What is this? If you haven't watched my uh, microservices series, I will mention link in the description. Please go through all these videos. Uh, there are seven eight uh, videos. They will be very helpful if you don't have idea about it. Okay. So this is a generally circuit breaker. Okay. Why we are using circuit breaker? If you are looking this question, uh, if you have understand it by one go, then I think you are good. Okay. So when we can use a circuit breaker, I'm not talking about only Netflix one. The thing is where we can use this history Netflix history, but. They can ask you in other way, like in which business scenarios you can use a circuit breaker. Perfectly fine. Now, let me make you the uh, question a uh, little bit explainable. Okay. So, what it is, uh, if your interviewer say, like there is a lot of microservice or uh, there is a lot of microservice of 100 microservice or 1000 microservices. Okay. But they will give you the some example, like from microservice 1 to microservice 9. Okay. So, there is a lot of microservices for 1 from 9. And you know that like when we are working with a lot of microservices all the microservices are communicating to each other right so like first microservice can get to two two second be communicating to three all are like are running independently but uh collecting a data by communicating to each other now it totally depends on you like however you want to communicate between the microservices like a rest template or mono or whatever a stream you want to use okay but the question is Let's suppose if something got failed in microservice 9. So what happened? This is a complete microservice system, right? But uh, you haven't have anything yet, right? So if something failed at 9 and it's a throw a exception, okay? What kind of exception? We are not discussing that. Just say, okay, it throw an exception here. Any exception or any message. With something like failed or did uh, db not up or anything that file not found an exception, okay? Like that. Now, this microservice 8 depend on 9, 7 depend on 8, and 6 depend on this. I know, I know you have already uh, handled all these uh, exceptions in your try catch block, or we can say like uh, handling all the exception very carefully. But then also, this is not you already handled, or we can say already you expecting your code to be work like that, because this is a, some kind of random error. Okay, you will not uh, read this error in your exception blocks and all. Okay, because you cannot directly put like uh, something kind of exception in your code. Otherwise, like uh, it will be a very bad programming practice. So we always follow a child to parent, not parent to child in exception. You know, right? So these all are dependent. Now you say, hey, actually, yeah, you you are right. I haven't uh, followed the actual uh, that parent child or that whatever we are saying. Okay, but let's suppose whatever we have followed there, but they are dependent because your interviewer want to ask you something, right? Because I'm not here to make you explain them how microservices work. I already have that playlist, okay, uploaded for you. So now what happened? You can say, how now this got failed, then your responsibility to not your system will terminate abnormally what i am saying if some microservice got failed then you have to build a system that protect your microservice other microservice to terminate abnormally i hope you are getting it what i am saying okay so that is called a circuit breaker okay so whatever circuit like circuit breaker you are using and uh, whatever vendor certificate like circuit breaker you are using it doesn't matter okay is it for netflix or any other circuit breaker you are using okay just they want to ask you how you will prevent that failure okay so let me give you the example and this is a solution of it let's suppose you are having two microservices and this is a m1 and this is a m2 and this is a consumer and this is a prediction okay so let's suppose your producer got failed something And with the help of some exception fine now what you will do you will say okay at controller you can say like 
if you are using history to add the rate history or whatever the annotation will be i am not talking about here for uh, like any annotation and you will give the at column your get fallback method your method name at column like we are giving uh at the rate uh rest will get mapping and at, at value whatever the we are passing a value right at the same way you can give a value okay if you want that code i will mention a description uh, just go ahead and check it out and if you want a full implementation of that i will mention in the link in the description you can uh, see that video okay and also uh if you want uh like video will be highlighted here and there just go and watch okay now so how it will work so you can even in which business scenarios you can use this history so first let me answer that because what the question is in which business scenarios so your scenario is if your two microservices if your two microservices are dependent on each other okay if they are consuming a data dependent on each other and let's suppose your this third microservice is having some risky code or connecting to db or any other microservice okay so you doesn't want to make a deadlock here or or doesn't want to make a starvation here okay uh, if you don't know the uh, deadlock and starvation uh, just forget it about it okay so you doesn't want to wait a third person just let me make you understand okay so what you will do okay you got it your third microservice by the way if you are working with 100 of microservice you will not get like that your which the microservice you are calling it is it dependent on third one or not you will not get it right okay so, uh like however it will a responsibility to other service like other team they will tell you is it dependent or not but uh in big team or like 100 microservice that team is not work like that okay your responsibility to call this and get a data that's all okay they will not tell you the internal implementation or they the microservice is dependent or not okay so now what happened so this microservice is dependent or not just forgot it if your microservice is calling then it's your dependency or this person dependency m2 this producer dependency if this is calling to someone okay this other microservice that is m3 so let's suppose it is failing or this is failing okay i'm talking about this one let's forget this one okay so if this got failed by some exception then this will implement a history and now you can ask me here actually what this history will do it will give you the sum value okay? it will give you the sum value to your m1 microservice let's suppose if this result is successful then you will get a like uh, 200 and you will get on one object or multiple list of object in this case you will get a uh, some dummy object and will say okay this service got failed you have to wait for some time or hit after some time fine so what does it mean it is a fault tolerance system and you can say that it is a circuit breaker kind of okay so if you want to see the implementation of it just go ahead whatever the video i have mentioned okay and if you have any question just let me know in the comment section Till then, I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.